Okay guys, welcome back to your review channel. Today I'm looking at a uh, soldering fan. What's a soldering fan? Well, basically if you're doing some soldering and there's a lot of smoke, and I have a soldering, gun, a soldering gun here, and we're gonna make some smoke, and we're gonna show you how this fan works. And if you do a lot of soldering, you should have one of these. So I picked up one of these, and it's called Koto. Uh, it's a soldering, smoke absorbing, removing fumes extractor thingamajiggy. That's what it does, that's what it is. What's in the box? And what's in the box is a little yellow fan. And what's in the fan also is little absorbing pads. And what else is in the pan? Nothing else, nothing else in the box. Uh, instructions are right here. And they're pretty, pretty straightforward. You basically just put the, shows you how, the, the, how to hook up the, um, the filter itself. This is a carbon, uh, activated carbon charcoal filter. That will help neutralize the fumes because when you're dealing with solder, um, old school solder, new solder, doesn't really matter. This is some old school stuff right here. You can see the Dutch boy. This is stuff, some old solder. Uh, when you're dealing with solder, you got to be careful of the fumes. Uh, so super important. Uh, so let's take a look at this fan. I wanted to pick this up as I was doing some soldering and a lot of soldering. So I wanted to fix a few things and I think the fan is important. So here's an extra charcoal filter. We'll put that back in the box. It does come with one already installed right here, as you can see. So the idea is that it sucks up the air this way and then puts it to the, the, the charcoal filter, I believe. I think it goes, I think it goes that way. We'll, we'll check out the, the flow of this in one second. Uh, so very well, well made, made out of metal. It's small and compact, but from what I understand, from what I've seen online, pretty powerful. Again, it is branded on top here by Koto, K-O-T-T-O. -T -T it has a little handle, it's yellow, um, and it's really kind of built quite well, honestly. Um, it's got an on and off switch right here. Super simple, there's not a lot to it. Um, but let's just check it out. Let's check out the sound. Let's check out a few things. Let's take that off. Um, let's see how long this cable is. Uh, approximately six feet. Not bad. I think that's okay. That's acceptable. Six foot cable, three prong outlet, as you can see there. Let me plug this in real quick. Yeah. Okay, so that is plugged in. Let's turn this on. Okay, so the airflow is going this way. So it's sucking in this way. So if you can hear that, and I'll put this closer to my, my microphone. Actually, I'll, let me open up my second microphone one second. So here is my second microphone. Okay, that second one is on. So that is near the fan, the second one. So you can hear that going, right? I'm sure you can. Let me shut this off. Turn it back on. Let's hear that. So definitely, um, it's loud. But not terribly loud if you're if you're working in an environment and you hear the, the back of it, you can hear that the air blowing. And just to let you know, I am using the new DJI wireless microphones. I did do a review on that. Let me shut this off so you can hear me better. Um, if you want to hear, uh, see the review on that, definitely check that out. I'm I'm, I'm loving this, guys. No, uh, this is awesome. They they work well, and um, so far so good. I'm happy with that. Pop this back in the case. Disconnect that one. Okay, so. You kind of heard how that sounds. It's a little loud, but not horrible. I mean, it is what it is. So the idea is let's test it. Okay, let's, let's put it on. Let's see how it, how it performs. There we go. You see that smoke coming off that? Just pulling that smoke in. That's really good. I don't know if you can see that. That is awesome. That is really pulling that smoke in. I don't know if you saw that. Uh, this old school doesn't have any, this doesn't smoke. I don't know what, this really must be really good uh, solder. This is really old, as you can see. This is actually uh, lead solder, so we probably shouldn't even use this anymore. We'll probably get rid of this. Uh, the new solder has all kinds of different uh, components in it, different different things. So you can see it does smoke. And um, when, you're, when you're dealing with that, you'll see one more time. You can see that smoke coming right off there. I'm sure you can. It's just sucking it right in. That is really good. I like that. A little more on there. You can really see that. Let's go about eight inches away. This is about 12 inches away. Yep, that's great. And you really won't go that far. You can see it's doing a great job. And on the back end, if you look in the back end here, there's nothing here. So it neutralizes it. The That's the idea. You can still smell it a little bit, but it definitely neutralizes it. So let's do it one more time. You'll see the back end, nothing coming out. And that's the idea. You can see, look at nothing in the back end at all. Totally neutralizing that, that smoke. You can see all that smoke coming off that, just sucking that stuff right up as well. So it's picking up that solder, it's picking up that those uh, fumes, and it's doing its job. And that's what I wanted it to do. So it is working, it is doing what it's supposed to do. 
I definitely recommend it if, you, if you're dealing with, you know, all this all day, every single day, and maybe you should use maybe uh, an evac something that's uh, external, something to push it outside. But for like a small job inside, definitely the way to go. Definitely have to have one of these. Definitely like this. It does neutralize that smoke. It pulls it right in, as you saw. And um, definitely, it's a, a plus to me. I think I think it, it does what it's supposed to do. It's pretty quiet. It's not terrible. Um, all in all, I think it's a great deal. Uh, tell me what you think. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you're enjoying my content. Um, definitely, I do appreciate that. Also, if there's a super thanks in the bottom, there's a super thanks in the bottom of this video. If you found this video helpful, please help support my channel so I can continue buying new and different things. Do reviews to show you what they look like so you have an idea when you're shopping what's going on. Again, this is made by Koto, K-O-T-O. TTO, um, and it's uh, the soldering fan, yellow. And, I, and then this is a little less expensive, the yellow one. I don't care about the color. It doesn't bother me. Um, and it works exactly as it's intended. So I do like that. And the size of it, it's not too big. Let me just give you a quick measurement. I know you want to maybe know that. That's important. It is five inches. And with the handle, about maybe six and a half. But it's a five square. The actual box is five square. I would say that for sure. And it's got some hef hefty weight to it and um, not bad. So I definitely recommend this. I give it uh, a good rating. I think it works fine. If you're in the market for something like this, I would consider this as a good idea, especially when you're dealing with a lot of soldering. I'll leave a link down below in the description and also over here as well for this actual product. There'll be uh, product links. I do get a small commission, as you do know. I did buy these myself just to be transparent. Uh, this was not given to me by the company. Uh, I bought them myself because I'm doing like some soldering, like I said. And so I wanted to do something to help with those fumes extraction or at least neutralize. That's what this does. It's not an extractor. It's more of a neutralizer. It neutralizes those fumes. And it definitely did a, it did a good job. It really worked because all this new solder, uh, today has all the um, different components in it that cause um, the resin core to have that smoke. That's what that is for. This one did not smoke. This is really cool, guys. Look at this. This is really old. This is probably like 40 years old. This has got to be old stuff. So we won't use that. Maybe that says uh, lead in it. We won't use that anymore. We'll, we'll get rid of that. And we do use the new stuff and it has that, that core, uh, the resin core solder. So that's, I guess that's what that is. I'm not 100% sure about all that. I'm not a huge solder expert. I'm just dabbling and fixing a few things. As you can see, I'm down in the workshop. And that's what I'm doing. So I hope I didn't uh, over talk too much. I just wanted to bring you some value and show you what I'm doing. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I really do appreciate that. And I'll see you at the next review. Definitely got to get one of these if you're doing a lot of soldering, guys. Thanks for watching.